Okay, this is with the, the machine set up. Um, you can see that the, the way to set this little uh, indicator is to have the, the metal lined up. You either get it with the, the edge of a label or uh, on this one, just lined it up with that, that mark. And then when you get back to that mark, you know that's, that's when you need to uh, stop winding the handle. Now you can see the, uh, the label feeds underneath the uh, peel bar, back around, and then just tape it onto that uh, main shaft. We just use a little bit of uh, sellotape or you can use a, a little piece of label. And then the, the front adjustment here, it, it's set so that the bottle is on, on both rollers, but it, it's not quite touching. That, that gap there needs to be as close as you can get without the bottle touching the metal peel bar. So the bottle's just on the roller, it's on both rollers, and you, you loosen that screw off and then you can slide the, the front in there. But when you turn the handle, the label will, will peel off. I'll just, I'll just wind one, and you can see the label is coming off the backing there. And then when that gets back to that mark, you'll see it lines up there. That's the label, um, the full labels off. So I'll just put that one out of the way. Put the bottle on. And it's just a case of winding the handle. And the label winds on. And then as soon as you get back to that mark, you know to stop winding, and that's your label on the bottle. It's important to have the roll stiff. You mustn't have this too loose on here. So what you can do is loosen that off, push these together, so it's it's pinching pressure on each side of the roll. Tighten that back up and keep that roll fairly stiff. And, and that's it. And you might have everyone's labels are different, so you, you might have to uh, bend this bar if you can get it to. Um, you know if ideally you get it lined up to a gap but because these are big labels with this one we just line it up to uh, to a to the mark on the label but but that's it keeping keep that pressure on those that's important and setting up the gap here so the bottle it touches both rollers but it doesn't touch the peel bar And then you, you can set this uh, guide. There's a choice of guides. Sometimes for bigger bottles, you can put this guide on, on there, or it'll fit on, on there. But it, it just depends on the size of your, your bottle. And then you can adjust it across. And, and moving it will obviously change the the position of the the label you know if you want the label to go down the bottle a bit just slide the guide that way a, a touch or or the other way or you can move the whole of the labels across but we try and make the machine you know so it, it'll do um, all different sizes and shapes of bottles so there's a lot of adjustment at every year uh, Every every one's different. I just going to take that label off and do another one. So the bottle sits on, so it's it's up to the guide. The 
bottle is sitting on the two rollers and then we just crank the handle until that goes back to that position again and that's it that's the bottle labeled oh so I just notice these <laughs> these are on upside down but obviously to change that we just have to reposition them. just take that label off I've uh, I've set that up the wrong way around so um, you get the bottle position lined up, just move that, that adjustment, that's it, turn the handle until that's lined up again there and that should be the bottle uh, the label's the right way around this way. But that's the thing, to watch for the tension there and get the, the gap set there. Just let me know if you have any problems and uh, we'll work through them.